You know, uh, when we talk about illegal immigration or illegal aliens or however you want to call them, it's not just the Hispanic community that we're talking about. There are 11.7 million illegal immigrants in this country, but so the problem is not unique to California, but California is uniquely burdened in that about two and a half million or 22% of those reside in California. Once again, that has to do with but, poor policy. But, but that's an estimate, right? I mean, it could be way, way more than that. And, could, and California seems to uh, coddle illegal immigrants, whether they're sanctuary cities or driver's licenses. And now I heard uh, recently that all the courts in California must have this plethora of, of uh, interpreters. I mean, all this stuff, it, this is what's going to drive California into bankruptcy, is it not all this crazy legislation? <laughs> it already is, and you're absolutely right. We have this, if you build it, they will come, um, false uh, policy position, and, and in fact, they are coming. As you mentioned, there are 35 official sanctuary cities in the state of California. That's official. It's there a are, sanctuary state, are, essentially, right? California I is. I guess you could probably say that. Yeah. I know in uh, my city, it's certainly not considered a sanctuary uh, uh, city. There are many cities that do abide by the rule of law, but it is a real burden. It's a burden to our transportation system. It's a burden to our hospitals. It's a burden to our schools and now to our DMV, as you've talked about. Right. We have uh, now, the governor just hired 900 new employees to staff the DMV so that we can begin giving driver's licenses to illegal immigrants. That'll be about 1.5 million people they expect to give driver's licenses to over the next three years, and they're spending over $150 million over cost recovery to do that. It's absolutely crazy. It's expensive. I mean, this is nuts. But you're...